Remember, 13 News Now is your back to school station. Local teachers are getting ready for the fall and some extra challenges that will come with virtual learning. 13 News Now reporter Megan Shin shows us how some planning uh, by the part of teachers is planned to help students and parents. Come on. As teacher Mary Taylor knows, a lot of children come to early childhood special education teachers without much or any vocabulary and sometimes physical challenges. We get a huge range in our classroom. And when all instruction went online, they had to figure out how to teach each child virtually. It's hard, it's challenging. So to help students this fall, I felt like they really needed the supplies at home. Taylor and other teachers are making and using sensory bins. And sensory is very calming, and it also makes learning fun. What she's talking about is putting together several things. That means a holder to organize supplies and a tray to give each student a designated learning space, but most importantly, a box to put sensory items in, meaning things students touch to learn from. Taylor says it's important for students to have their own supplies at home and when returning to school. We are kind of being directed to have areas so that they can have their own supplies. Taylor says this is a first, and to carry the supplies, they have bigger plastic tubs that will also be used to help physically distance kids. Students would sit in the tub during story time instead of at a table together. Parent Samantha Stepp says her son was in Taylor's class. I think the bin idea is a wonderful idea. This type of visual and tactile learning is vital for young special education students. So important, Taylor and others are spending their own dimes. Oh, it's important. I mean, we're just going to have to make it happen. Megan Shin, 13 News Now. To stay up to date on all back to school developments in our area, text school to the number on your screen. We'll send you a link with everything you need to know.